Hey everybody, this is my aquaponics update. It's been about a week. Uh, just want to let you know what's going on in my system and show you the amazing growth that I've had. Uh, you just heard my bell siphon kick on. I know I said in the past that I, I didn't like fiddling with it because I didn't want it to break or stop working, but uh, I fiddled with it again and actually seemed to uh, <laughs> make it better, a better improvement. And that's where I took it, and instead of having it angle off to, to the side this way, I have it coming down and pointing down, like that. And it oxygenates the water a little bit, which is good for the fish, and it pushes all the sediment that was building up over here this way, to where I wanted to get pulled up right there. So, um, but along with my update showing you the amazing growth that I've had, um, Lettuces are getting pretty big. Mango's going well. This right here is a store-bought head of lettuce that is actually starting to kind of grow a little bit. And if you can look on the bottom, there's a little little heads starting to sprout at the bottom, which is kind of cool. But um, I saw somebody do this once before in a video to where they bought some lettuce, stuck it in their system, and it started rooting and shot straight to seed for that time of year and I'm kinda hoping to try and do the same thing because I believe this is romaine lettuce that I bought at the store I know the seeds are kinda cheap but I just thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to do and so on to my tomato plants like I said last time they're right about here and then they're like right here now they're way up here and last time I told you that I thought I saw some flower heads budding well, if you look right there, I got some right there. Oops, my bad. Right there. And I also have some more on the other ones over here, too. There's some right uh, right there. And, oops, the other one's kind of hidden, but it's, um, there they are. They're hiding right in there. Where's my finger at? There it is. So, um, the pepper plant's growing amazing. I'm getting more flowers still, and it's still going. Although this one right here, it's starting to branch off to the left. I'm going to harvest the peppers off of it and cut it off right here so it allows more light to come in, so my lettuce gets more light. Because these are growing, and they're really green compared to the last time, because they're looking kind of like this all over the last time I tried growing these. So they weren't, you know, growing really well, and... One, I think, is because the lighting's not coming in because I should have... Let me move that. I should have put the tomato plants kind of in the back so that way I can put the lettuce in the front and the lettuce would have plenty of light too. But, you know, overall everything's going really well. My bean plants are growing really well. I don't, I'm not sure, but I think that's a flower right there. But, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with my system, the way it's working. Fisher, uh, you know, I had a few more deaths with the goldfish. I don't know why they're dying, but the catfish and the bluegill are doing great. And the funny thing is I found another bluegill at another store and got him. So now I have two in here. Down in these tubes. Oh, there they are. One there and one there. And catfish in there. And over there, there's actually two over there, I think. But uh, they're doing really well. They're happy. Cat's happy. He's checking everything out. She is, anyways. And so, also, I wanted to show you my readings. I've kind of been a doofus, I guess. Because I didn't fully read the fish manual. And when it, came to, when it comes to the nitrates, you're supposed to shake the bottle vigorously for... 30 seconds. I haven't been doing that so when I've been checking my nitrate readings they've been looking really low like around in this range. Well as you can see now that I've started doing it correctly it's more down in this range which I'm like whoa and I read the other ones in in the manual and it didn't say I had to shake shake them but I still did just to be sure and as you can tell they're looking pretty good. My nitrites are pretty much non-existent and then my ammonia 
it's like a 0.25 to a zero and my pH over here is actually starting to go up I'm not sure if that's because of the the fish waste in the water or uh, that coral I put in is actually boosting it up so but it's actually in a good level still anyways I'm still very happy with everything and how it's working out the funny thing is though I can't believe I was doing this one wrong and as you can tell I have more than enough nit nitrates to feed my plants and but by seeing this I'm a bit worried that this might be causing some harmful effects to the goldfish and that might be why they they were dying so uh, any feedback would be great uh, I'm gonna be looking online trying to see if there's any harmful effects as far as I know from what I've read so far there isn't and the only effects that can cause is like a algae bloom a cat an algae bloom or um, just means that there's too much you know fish waste in the water and causing the the bacteria that produce the nitrates to have plenty of food and just cause a buildup that way but other than that I'm actually really happy with everything and except for the the goldfish in here I had a couple more today not doing so hot and these guys at the top aren't doing so well but the bluegill that guy over there the other one wherever he is and the catfish are actually doing really well I got some duckweed that I showed you last time and I was able to get some more I put some on the top but um, either they're eating it or it's dying off and I think they're eating it and I don't know if you can see it down here it's kind of dark got the cat in the way that's eh, a little too dark but it's all over the surface in there and it's actually seems to be growing still and I'm happy with that but um, with everything going on in my system I'm very happy with the way it's working the performance and everything I'm still really new at this so as you can tell from my mistake down there with the nitrates but uh, if you have any comments or any you know helpful suggestions or anything please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time thanks bye